Welcome again to our English 3 class with Miss Ida. We are now on Unit 6, Lesson 3, Describing Dinosaurs. Let's get our learner's book and open it on pages 80 to 81 while watching this video. And don't forget, get your English notebook and your pen as we will be answering some of the activities as we go along. So are you ready? Let's get started! Our learning objectives are the following. For listening, listen to a poem. Speaking, speak about dinosaurs. Recite a poem. Reading, read a poem. Writing, write about a dinosaur. Critical thinking, comparing and contrasting, memorizing. For language focus, comparison. We will be using as, dot, 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 as. Later, Ms. Ida will discuss more. For revision, ordinal numbers, past simple, sequencing words. For our vocabulary, we have the following words. Heavy, fast, slow, strong, loud, quiet, dangerous. Take your time to check their meanings, children. And for our first activity, it's use of English. Try to imagine a dinosaur that is 37 meters long. Then imagine a dinosaur that is as long as three buses. Are you imagining now? Now, let's see. Look at the picture. The longest dinosaurs were as long as... What is your answer? So write it down, children. For this picture, they were as heavy as... What do you think? Write down again your answer. And for this one, the smallest dinosaurs were as small as... Blank. Write again your answer, children, and we will check them together during our Zoom meeting. So let's continue. Our second activity is writing. In English, we often use comparisons to describe things. Imagine a dinosaur again. Was it a meat eater or a plant eater? Write three comparisons that describe your dinosaur. Read them aloud. And then can your classmates guess if your dinosaur was a meat eater or a plant eater? Let's see. So you will say, my dinosaur was, and then you can choose here, as big as blank, as small as blank, as fast as blank, as slow as blank, as strong as blank, as heavy as blank, as loud as blank, as quiet as blank, as dangerous as blank. So we will have a game for these children. Are you excited? So here are again some examples for you to choose. As quick as a lightning. As busy as a bee. As light as a feather. And for our third activity, we have here a very short poem to read and listen. So the title of our poem is Unfortunately by Bobby Katz. So are you ready? Unfortunately, dinosaurs lived so long ago they never had a chance to know how many kids would love to get a dinosaur to be their pet. So for our fourth activity, it's writing again, children. Imagine you have a pet dinosaur. Make up a name for it. Use your own name and add Osaurus. What does it look like? What can it do? So you will write three to four sentences, then draw a picture. So in our book, we have here this example, My Pet Dinosaur by Paul. My pet dinosaur is called Apollosaurus. It has a long neck and a long tail. It can jump on the roof of my house. Okay, so take your time to write your own 
home children about my pet dinosaur and i'm so excited of your names of your dinosaurs and for the last activity it's use of english so we have here two sentences that you need to complete dinosaurs lived very long ago how long ago look at the timeline on page 77 and complete these sentences the first dinosaurs appeared blank years blank the last dinosaurs died blank years blank so take your time to answer this one children and for this activity during our zoom meeting you may choose one of your friends and then you will ask him or her these questions how many years ago were you born how many years ago did you start learning english how many years ago did you learn to read how many years ago did you lose your first tooth okay so be ready and be prepared children for all the activities for this lesson so that ends our lesson three thanks for watching be ready and be on time for our zoom meeting always stay safe and healthy children bye bye and god bless everyone